This is my He has just caught a virus that's been going around. He's sick and very unhappy. Whenever a virus comes around, Mike almost always gets it. <coughs> Mike gets sick easily because he has an ill-prepared immune system. His body is not in the shape that it should be in. There are many things that affect our health. One of these is food. Eating the right kind of food is essential to maintaining one's good health. Our diet today is filled with empty calories, carcinogens, high sugar, bad cholesterol, and bad fats. According to the World Research Fund, processed meat contain chemical additives that increase greatly the risk of having virus cancer. When he drinks his coffee, Mike sweetens his cup with white sugar and artificial sweeteners. We find our white sugar is stripped of its fiber and other nutrients during its processing. Hence, it is absorbed immediately by the body, causing a sudden increase in blood sugar. Now, we will show Mike what kind of food he should try to eat more of. Mike could try incorporating a plant-based diet, rich in vegetables, fruits, complex carbohydrates, and deep sea fish that will boost his health and well -being. These could be turned into yummy delicacies such as salad, fruit shake, fruit juice, and hot steamed meals. Fresh vegetables and fruits are full of antioxidants that fight up carcinogens that we encounter every day. These are also high in fiber that prevents chronic diseases like cardiovascular diseases, diabetes, and obesity. There's great evidence that high fiber diets decreases the risk of having cancers. Complex carbohydrates provide calories, vitamins, minerals, and fiber. Unlike refined sugars, which provide calories as well, but with very little nutrition. Contrary to popular belief, chocolate, specifically dark chocolate, is actually good for the body. Recent studies show that the intake of dark chocolate, which contains flavonoids, lowers bad cholesterol, improves endothelial circulation, creates good mood, and normalizes blood pressure. Aside from fresh juices, it is advised to drink mineral water as opposed to drinking other kinds of water. Mineral water, unlike distilled water, contains essential minerals and electrolytes, which prevents the body from becoming too acidic. Coffee, green tea, and even alcohol, when taken in moderation, can be also good for your health. Coffee may just do more than keep you awake and alert. It is a good source of antioxidants. Green tea contains flavonoids, which is implicated in preventing different types of cancers, heart disease, and liver disease. Moderate alcohol intake, generally defined as having two drinks per day, has been shown to reduce the rates of heart attack, brain attack, or strokes. This comes from alcohol's effect on increasing high-density lipoprotein, the good cholesterol. When these foods become part of Mike's daily life, he takes a step closer to living a healthy lifestyle. And when disease knocks on his door, he's definitely more protected. <laughs>